Love Collective, welcome back to the Ascended Divination Priestess Terror channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to sender. I return to source. All negative energies and intent immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energy. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled, being dismantled as we speak. Okay. Past, present, or future, all ill intent being set for you by your enemies are dismantled permanently. Okay. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. Let's go ahead and do our oracle read or the tea leaf oracle cards. Uh, we have the ace out here. So this means that there is some type of change you can be expecting to take place. Um, there's some type of powerful source at work. This could be divine intervention. This could be someone that's very high up in an organization doing something behind the scenes, maybe on your behalf. But there is some type of powerful source at work trying to bring balance um, into your life, into your situation. So just stay calm. Okay. Be vigilant. Don't take any type of rash actions. Just trust source to figure it out and to sort it out for you. We're starting out here with the lovers. That means that a decision has been made. We should go fall in alignment with the ace of pentacles. Ace of pentacles with this ace card. What in the world is going on? Anyway, so I got this down low, um, just now, and I wanted to do a tarot reading on it. There's something where a feminine energy out there, there's a queen of pentacles that is absolutely determined to destroy you. This woman has come up with some type of plan to dismantle your foundation, whatever this is, um, because there's some type of decision that has been made to give you wish fulfillment or bring balance or restore you in life. Because whatever she's been doing behind the scenes has been illuminated and it has her in uh, it's, it has her very anxious and afraid behind the scenes because she stands to lose a lot. Okay. Someone has been benefiting off of someone else being bullied. She has been benefiting off of other people, energies being uh, harvested. Um, and she's been getting really wealthy off of it. Someone has stolen someone else's birthright in a sense, and it's been taken away from her in return to them. So this decision that has been made, whether in love, in business, whatever this is, she's not happy about it. She does not want you to have fulfillment in life. So she's taking some type of action to cause you a loss. There is something where, let's say, for example, this woman has her hand in every aspect of your life. There is someone that she has working on her behalf. This could be a masculine that she hired to do something for her on, on, on her be do something to you on her behalf. Okay. So for example, let's say maybe you apply for a job six months ago, a year ago, three months ago, two months ago, whatever it is, you never heard back from the company. This queen of pentacles or whoever this is, queen of swords, they know this company. And this is someone where it's like, they, these are businesses they are connected so let's say it's like a hospital all of these hospitals are connected let's say you apply to one of these hospitals she reached out to the hospital not to hire you but then there's something that's going on behind the scenes where it's causing a lot of loss for her uh, so maybe she finds out that you apply to this company she reached out to them and tells them to hire you but there's a plan that when they hire you, you're going to end up being fired, which is going to dismantle your foundation. So if you're at a job right now and your boss is not giving you a hard time, your boss is not tempering with you, not fooling with you. They let you do your, do your thing because you know, they know they can trust you to get your job done or they know you don't come with problems or you just, you're not problematic. If your boss is not bothering you, people are not bothering you. You're secure in your job. I will not rush to any offer that's coming to you out of the blues because there's some type of ulterior motive that is attached to it. Okay. All right. So you are going to have some type of wish fulfillment, but this new beginning that's coming towards you where someone is just calling you out of the blues to give you a work opportunity. You're supposed to see it as your brand new start, your first start. It is an illusion. There's some type of manipulation going on here. That's going to lead to you being out in the cold and losing everything. 
Okay, this is something this woman is hiding from people that she's working with behind the scenes. She could be hiding it from an emperor behind the scenes as well. Maybe like a king of pentacles that she's lying to. But this man has awareness that this woman is not telling the full truth and that she's up to something. So he does not trust her. There's something where a masculine is going through some type of awakening and he's aware of the action someone is taking, the words that she's using, how she's using her words. Someone is very well, uh, uh, very much aware of what a woman is trying to do. He may not know the details of what she's trying to do to you, but he knows that she's just pretending to be practical about a situation. Okay. Because she does not want him walking away out of a community because they're, they're gaining a lot of money out of this masculine being in this community and they're really tricking him. They're a bunch of tricksters. Okay. So she has like a colleague like a, 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 a an acquaintance that manages or runs or owns another company and she has reached out to this person because she knows that you may have applied for a job with this person maybe a year ago six months ago whatever this is and she told them to reach out to you so what they're going to do is reach out to you and tell you uh that they're offering you this amount we cannot go over this amount this is what we pay everybody this is something that has been a work in progress for a while. They have set this up, okay? Um, so they reach out to you, offer you this job. You schedule the interview, go to the interview. They give you the job. They say you already have the job and you don't know you have the job, but there's some type of ulterior motive to it is to set you up. So you end up putting in, let's say your two weeks notice or you resign from your current position. You go and start this job. Everything is going to be fine and dandy for about two weeks is what Spirit is telling me. It's going to be good for, for about two weeks. But after two weeks, your life is going to be falling into the drain because what? They're going to let you go. They're going to sack you. Or there's some type of, I'm also being told there's some type of uh, toxic or karmic cycle. She wants to start over because this woman benefits from you being bullied in some type of way, which lets me know you may have worked with this woman in the past or worked under her. There's some type of cycle you put an end to, but she's trying to drag it out. Is that the longer you're bullied, the longer your energy is harvested, the more money she makes. So this is what people are not seeing. Uh huh. This is what people are not seeing. All of the manipulation she's doing. You're gonna think that you're starting some type of brand new store. You're empowered and things like that, and it's gonna be an end for you. Okay. What's really about to happen is that this this family here. The, the community that she's in, whatever business they've been operating behind the scenes, because this is something very dark, it's all crumbling down to the ground. They're losing money, okay? Something when they, when they originally started, a company out there, when they originally, excuse me, when it originally started, it was something that was in the upright. It was very fruitful, okay? Whoever started this company was very generous. They're very kind-hearted. I don't know if they passed away, passed it on to their family or something like that. Um, but since this person passed away, the fruitful one, the generous one, the family center, because it's a company that was built, it was built like around like a family idea. Like we are family, we take care of each other, we take care of our patients, whether this is a hospital, uh, whatever this is a hotel, we take care of our clients and things like that. It was family center, family mindset. But it's not like that since the person who started this company passed away. There's nothing here but witchcraft going on. Secrets, deeds, rituals. Something has become very dark because of a specific energy that they put in power. This woman is well connected with other businesses. Okay? And this is how she stays in power. It's like she's in some type of company and they're very influential in the community that they are in. So she networks with other companies. And if they don't go along with what she's requesting, she starts to threaten them with, you know, doing something to them. Uh, like I have a lot of uh, options on how I can destroy you. Like someone is a joke out here. This is like a queen of pentacles, losing everything. Someone is into some form of magic. And it's really, really dark. Even the people that she's with, they don't know that she's been blocking their destinies for a long time. All right. Someone wants you to juggle what you've committed yourself to your path, your destiny, your purpose. They want you to juggle that. They want you to fumble that. So if you leave whatever position you are in right now to go to whatever this other option is they're giving you, 
thread with caution because you could end up dismantling yourself. You're gonna, it's gonna sound like some type of good news, but it's gonna be nothing but burdens. There was a woman who has like a queen, king of wands working on her behalf. If you accept that position and you leave your current job and go to that position, you're going to be weighed down. Because it's a whole karmic cycle, you are going to start all over again. Okay? So just be cautious. This is a whole plot. This is a plot. And this is what this woman is not telling anyone. Okay? This is a plot to get you to, to, to lose everything. Like you'll be out in the cold, in poverty. You will recover. But this is an unnecessary uh, uh, experience. That you are about to go through if you accept this out of the blue offer. Some of you may have applied to jobs and you don't even remember you applied to these jobs. All of a sudden they're reaching out to you. It's not that they didn't find someone for their position. They just rejected your application before because someone may have reached out to them and told them not to hire you. But something is not going in their favor now. So they're reaching out to you so that they can... Uh, uh, give you this position to dismantle your foundation, basically. So wherever you are, I will stay there until source tells you it's time to move on, okay? There is someone in this community that this Queen of Pentacles, because I am getting a Queen of Pentacles in this uh, energy, there's someone in this community that she is benefiting of. This could be like a King of Pentacles. There is something where these people do, this whole family, they do some type of money ritual, some type of spiritual practice, right? And it, get, it leads to them getting a lot of money, right? It's put a lot of money in their pocket. These are people that will breadcrumb everybody around them just so that they are fulfilled. And this is something this Queen of Pentacles is very much accustomed to, okay? So this whole group is fighting behind the scenes. This is what you're not privy to. They've been trying to cause you chaos, but they're the ones going through chaos behind the scenes. A lot of them are being breadcrumbed. People may not want to work with them anymore. This whole organization is in shambles. They are fighting amongst themselves. This is like a company, okay, within a company. This is like a, a cult within a company. So on the surface, they look well put together. They look business minded, but these are nothing but thieves in this company all they do is steal lie cheat this is how they operate so be cautious this is why i always say uh don't be in a hurry for anything whether it be love always stay vigilant of the offers you're receiving some of you are meant to walk work alone don't be out here chasing luxuries because that's how you get caught up in things you should not be caught up in Okay, there's something where there's a community that's very vain. All they care about is money, especially the queen of pentacles that I keep picking up on. All they care about is money and they are intimidated by your knowledge, your wisdom. You're very intuitive. It's that like you know the truth about these people and they are very bothered by it. They, they also know you're not out here trying to be bougie and stuff like that. Like you are content. This nine of uh, a pentacles woman, she's content in life. You're content with what you have. You're not out here trying to do too much, right? There's a difference between the nine of pentacles and the nine of cups. The nine of cups is someone who overindulges in materialism. They're very materialistic, very superficial. The nine of pentacles, on the other hand, is someone who's very humble and down to earth, regardless of their finances that they have. Okay? This is someone that's very well balanced. They budget very well. It does not matter if they have a million dollars in their bank account or $25,000 in their bank account. They budget. They don't live above their means. So, so this is someone very humble. They're not swayed by the luxurious things in life, right? They're balanced. And this is you. So she's trying to dismantle this. Like, you know what she's trying to do. People around her may not know what it is she's trying to do or what she's up to. Someone is out here playing pretend. Like, she's acting like she's over something. She's not uh, uh, She's not doing anything behind the scenes. She lets something go. Mind you, you never did anything to these people. She's just upset that she cannot harvest or benefit off of your energy anymore. She's upset about this out here. So she has come up with some type of plan to destroy you. And she's just waiting for someone out there to show up to a job interview. If you have a job interview that scheduled, look up, look into the company that you are going to that job interview for or with. 
I don't care if they started in the 90s. I don't care if they started two years ago, one year ago, six months ago. Look into them. Look into them, okay? If you can't find out who they are connected to, I'm telling you, find out who they are connected to. Don't just jump off the boat with the company you're with to go get on a new boat. Find out. Use your foresight. Look into the company that's reaching out to you. There's something where this woman, this queen of pentacles is, I keep getting a queen of pentacles energy. There's something where a king of swords does not want to work with her. She is trying to get someone to dismantle you, reject you. If this is like your boss or something, it could be a feminine energy that's your boss or masculine energy that's your boss in your king of swords energy is what I'm getting. She's trying to get this person to fire you so that you are not secure in life. You're not successful. You have burdens. You're isolated, restricted, confined, all kinds of things. But he's not willing to work with her because he sees exactly what she's been doing. Someone sees a woman for exactly for what she's been doing. She network with the company you currently work with, trying to get them to work with her so that they could dismantle you. Because she benefits out of you living in anxiety, fear, poverty. Someone is very vain out here. Now the business that she has operating, this whole collaboration that she came up with, or they've been uh, doing for years, decades, is dismantled. It's falling apart. They're fighting amongst each other. They were intending for you to have problems going on, but they're the ones going through problems. Okay, you may end up receiving some type of communications from a king of wands. Be vigilant because this person was working for this woman. He's working for this woman. He's working for her. This is his intention for you. He benefits when she benefits. If she makes money, he makes money. So that is not your friend. If this, if you have an old institution you used to work with that you left, and anyone from that institution approaches you, there's nothing good behind it. This is what they're intending for you. These people said they have an operation that's been going on for years. You're being told to be practical, okay? These people said they have an operation that's been going on for years. And they want to keep it that way. But it's done. The operation is over. These people are fighting because they like common sense. All they care about is money. Money, 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 money. Okay. All they care about is money. They could be like a king of pentacles in their community. They're trying to hold on to. They're trying to block him from coming towards you. They're causing illusions, manipulations, trying to keep him in his mind, trying to keep him from seeing the truth about what it is they're really doing. But someone is privy to the nonsense. That's what they don't see. Every time he tries to take action, they cause blockages. They cause a stalemate. Okay? They're playing with his emotions, his mental. They're trying to cause illusions. But something's telling me this masculine, yeah, he knows who you are. He knows. This is someone very intuitive, very gifted. They don't know that. They're about to find out if they watch this video. He knows. This man knows the truth. He knows who you are. He knows that you two are supposed to have success in business, whether it's a relationship, whatever it is. This man knows that you and him have a contract and he is and will be taking action to bring that into manifestation. Someone is very gifted. The king of pentacles, which is what I'm getting. I'm telling you, you two will be successful when you connect in divine timing. The king of pentacles are people who are very intuitive. They may not let you know that they are intuitive, but baby, your intuition sometimes are sharper than women. Yeah, he has foresight of who you are. This man has foresight. He has foresight of who you are, what you're meant to accomplish together, and that's all he cares about. So all the other stuff they're doing to keep him in some type of limbo, it ain't working. He knows who you are, and when the right times come, he will take action. So they can keep causing all the blockages that they want, but this king of pentacles knows who you are. That's all I'm going to say on that. That man knows who you are. Okay, and they're trying to hold on to him so they can keep harvesting off of him because basically that's what they're doing to him. He's a pawn in their game. Everybody that's in that community, they're just another pawn on the chessboard for her. 
They're just another pawn. They're committed to being a pawn. This man knows who you are on a spiritual level. Okay? He knows who you are. That is your emperor. That is your emperor. And someone could be very high ranking in a community that he's coming from or just a, a high ranking overall in life spiritually. And there's not much she can do to stop this person from coming towards you. Okay? I'm telling you. The stagnation is not working. There's still going to be victory. He's still being practical, logical about the situation. Like, this is like someone comes to you and they feed you a lot of nonsense and you just sit there and listen to them. But when, when they leave, what? You're self-actualizing. You're actually thinking about what it is they're telling you so that you can take logical steps. Someone is very logical. The Six of Wands has to do with being logical. You use logic to defeat your enemies. So that's what he's doing, using logic. So all the manipulations, whatever she thinks she's doing, the rest of the minions, it ain't working because he's standing his ground. It's not working. You're standing your ground. She's, he's standing his ground. And she's trying to stand hers, but she don't got much of a ground to stand on. Someone may have been doing something inappropriate at work, like some type of work affair, Right? She may have been having some type of work affair and causing a lot of illusions and all of these illusions are exposed. So she doesn't really have much of an upper hand or a place to make any type of judgment, to make any type of negotiations. Like she does not have the upper hand in this situation. And this woman is under judgment. This is a, I'm telling you, this is a queen of pentacles. Listen, uh, uh, Shakira said her hips don't lie. My cars don't lie. I picked up on a queen of pentacles. She's under judgment and she's not happy, right? She's not happy about what's about to take place. This man is going to be taking action to advocate for you and bring balance into a situation that's going to lead to a 10 of pentacles success. Endless possibilities when it comes to what? Business, life, everything. Both of you are multifaceted people, very creative, innovative as heck. Got your thinking hat on 24-7. So that's why she is unhappy, right? Because he's still coming towards you regardless, whether it's today, tomorrow, next year, he's still leaving. And she knows that. But she's desperate to hold on to someone and keep them in a community. And this man said, see you, Linda. I'm out of here. As above, so below. So you and this person are already... In connection in the spirit realm, as that's your twin flame, that's your soul twin. This is a twin flame connection. So it, you two are already together in the spirit realm. Now it's about to manifest in the physical. That brother said, "I'm out of here, Linda. You tried it. You think I'm about to hold, put my destiny on hold for this nonsense, for illusions, for illusions? And you two are going to be so abundant in life. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. I'm telling you again." She's under judgment and she's not happy because the truth is out about everything she's been doing to interfere with things going in the right direction. This woman has been tempering with justice and she's burdened at night because of someone has made a decision, right? To do the right thing. This whole organization is nothing but a group of karmics causing illusions especially a queen of wands in this community that thinks that she's a better option than a freaking empress, than a star seed. The whole community is in fear. The whole community. This is them. Shakira's hips don't lie and my freaking cars don't lie. They're in fear. They've been doing nothing but telling lies, conf make, causing confusions, manipulations, and things like that. Okay? Come on, I'm telling you, these people are going through it behind the scenes. This last move she made, they are anxiously waiting to see if you're going to take the bait. Are you going to show up for that interview? Are you going to accept the job? And once you do, a whole karmic cycle is going to start all over. Do not be in a hurry to accept anything. If you're at a job that does not pay right now, but it, it, you have your peace and quiet, these people are out of your energy, stop focusing so much on money. Manage what you have. That's something I had to learn the hard way. 
Manage what you have until the most high reveals to you where your next assignment is. Because as a star sea or earth angel, you are always on assignment. You work in one company, you're there for a reason. Once you fulfill your purpose in that company, they move you to the next assignment. You are always on an assignment. Whether it is the relationships that you're in, family, friends, uh, uh, romance, you are always on assignment. Sometimes the assignment is for you, for you to find fulfillment in life, for you to find yourself. Okay? So do not be in a hurry. These people are fighting about someone wanting to give to you, someone wanting to partner up with you. They don't want you to receive some type of financial payout. Okay? Because there's someone in this organization that knows what these people have been doing and they're trying to balance something out because there's too much chaos going on behind the scenes. And someone is tired. They are tired. They just want something to go back or something. I don't know. Like they, they want to feel hopeful again in life. Like. I don't even think they can go back. They got to go forward. But someone just want to be feeling hopeful again. There is no hope in this community. There's nothing. It's nothing but chaos and karma behind the scenes. But these are people, when you see them, they'll act like everything is okay. Everything is not okay. There's a queen of swords in this community. She's not doing okay. She's trying, I'm telling you, these people are not okay. They're losing money. I said queen of swords and here she goes showing up. They are losing money. There's a queen of swords in a community that's pretending like everything is okay. And she's trying to negotiate with someone else, possibly a king of swords, so that he can work with her. Everything is not okay. That woman is bad as ish at crazy. And I'm telling you the God's honest truth. Someone is pretending. She thinks that if she just acts that everything is okay, nothing is bothering her. There's no emotional storm going on beneath the surface that he's going to end up believing her, her lies that she's telling, and he's going to work with her. He's not working with you. Someone don't want no problems. Okay. He's not working with you. He knows you're under judgment for interfering with some type of love connection. So he may have gone and sought some type of wisdom or he went within and he decided, I don't want to be part of this. So he's keeping his distance from you all. He does not want to be part of it. This is a whole community. Are, I'm telling you a whole community institution under judgment, an entire community under judgment. And it ain't getting no better. It's not getting any better. They want to send someone in to come play with your emotions. It's not getting any better. These people are burdened. This whole community, they're burdened about a star sea, an earth angel receiving some type of commitment. They know that you're not someone superficial. You don't want to be part of whatever they have going on. These are people, as soon as they see money, <laughs> they get excited. People, star seeds don't get excited, excited at money because that's not the purpose they're here for on earth. So you're not swayed by the mundane things in life. You're not worried about the Rolls Royce, the mansion, the money. You're not swayed about any of that. You're not swayed by that. You got bigger things to worry about, i.e. the mass, elevating people, helping people go through some type of ascension. I have a moth. Uh, uh, is that a butterfly? Hello, beautiful, on my window. Okay. You're not swayed by the superficial things in life. And that's the problem. So because they know you're not swayed about the final things in life, they know they're not able to come in and manipulate you and make something seem like what it's not. Okay? They can't come in and make something seem like what it is not because you know exactly. I said hi to this, this moth, this butterfly. And it left this side of the window and came closer to me. How you doing? You passed the vibe check? Hopefully you're not a monitoring spirit. Someone wants to come in just to keep you trapped in your head. This, is, this queen of pentacles is sending someone in. It could be the king of wands. She's sending towards you. They're sending someone to come and keep you trapped in your head. Don't fall for this. Okay. It's nothing but manipulations. And there's a queen of swords that's going through it. She's going through it. She stands to lose everything. She's going to have to start over in life. Someone blocked some type of, I don't know, birthright. 
a relationship and she did it in a really cold and calculating way. I'm telling you, this emperor, whoever this is, he's standing his ground. He's like, I'm done. He wants a fresh start in life. He don't got time for the stupidity. He's giving his commitment to who he wants to give it to. This could be your emperor who's a king of pentacles, but yeah. He's showing up in his King of Pentacles energy because he's being practical and listening to his intuition now. That's what it is. Oh, yeah. That's the God's honest truth. He's, he's paying attention now. He's listening to his intuition. I'm telling you. And he's seeing right through. He sees the truth about all the tactics these people have been doing. Everything. 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 Like walking away. To victory walking away and he's doing it fast they don't know when he's gonna do this they don't know when he's gonna do it but he's gonna do it Phew. these people are crazy yeah he's gonna be communicating with you you're gonna be receiving some type of good news about an offer or a decision or something someone wanting to work with you Someone's advocating for you behind the scenes. And I'm telling you, this emperor wants to have a fresh start in life. Someone could have come from like a religious background or something. Yeah, he wants a new start. So he's putting an end to a cycle with this community that does nothing but plan and come up with ways to cause other people burdens and lie. Lie, lie, lie. They're trying to hide you from the public eye. They're trying to hide you from the public eye because you know all their secrets all their secrets so they, they, they want to keep causing you stagnations and things like that there could be a public figure in here or you could be the public figure that they're fooling around with and they're they're, they're finding out that 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 was not what yeah that, that that's not what they thought it was going to be there could be a corrupt law official in here like a judge a lawyer or something that's going through a loss as well Baby, everybody is going through it. Eventually, what's going to happen? They're going to have to let go. They're going to have to let go. Because they're going to end up finding out or realizing this, in, this here is not what you want. People are losing money. People, people are losing peace behind the scenes. Everything. Okay? Everything. So they're going to have to let go. Going to have to let go. But you're going to be receiving communications from your emperor. This is your twin flame that wants to commit with you so you two can have what? An abundant life together. There's a king of a king of wands in here that keeps showing up. And he's wanting to move on as well. I'm telling you, he's wanting to move on. This king of wands is wanting to move on. May have taken some type of action to go to a practitioner. Right? A high priestess or someone like that to get advice or some type of legal counselor. And they told him... To do the right thing. So I don't know what the heck is going on. Everyone has their own situation going on in this situation. This community. They're all trying to see things from a higher perspective. And do what's best for each of them. But I would I would be I would be a, a, a vigilant of this king of wands. There's something about him. I, I don't I don't get a good view, a good vibe. I get a narcissist. There's a king of wands in a community that's nothing but a narcissist, and he's working for their queen of pentacles so be vigilant when he comes towards you there's some type of ulterior motive for why he's coming towards you absolutely because you're going to be receiving some type of abundance be vigilant i don't trust him i don't trust him this is what this woman is hiding from people that's what she's hiding Mm. Yeah, that king of one, that king of pentacles is leaving. Yeah, someone wants to communicate with you, but they're stuck in their head that you don't want to partner up with them. You don't have any fond memories of them. They're afraid of the light that you see them in. Because someone may have taken some type of impulsive action that you are aware of. They refuse to be practical about a situation. Someone went after greed and now they've lost everything. They were supposed to communicate with you, but now they took too long to communicate with you or something like that. Someone chose money over a connection, over a relationship, over a collaboration, and it has led to nothing but bad news for them. They were expecting to have some type of victory, and this is what they're going through. Okay? 
this is what they're going through. Yeah, endings. Endings. Queen of Swords going through an ending. Because the truth is out. All of these people are going through an ending. These are all narcissists. You, this could, there could be a queen, of, a queen of Cups in the reverse in this community as well. Let's go in through our ending. Everybody is going through it. Your ancestor said everybody can get it. And this king, this emperor here, he's aware of everything. He knows the truth. They cannot manipulate him at all. They cannot manipulate him at all. He knows the truth and he's leaving them out in the cold. He said, uh-uh. I'm tired. I got better things to do. Okay? I got better things to do. He's tired. Someone's out here embarrassed because their truth is exposed. There's something where it said these people come up with a new plan. They get online to watch terror videos and all the plans they came up with are being exposed. And what can you expect? And then it just sets them, sets them back. A whole 10 steps and then they have to they have to go back to the drawing board again come up with a new plan okay come up with a new plan okay we have zero fresh start new start okay you are one with a creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve you have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on earth i am a creator Honey, my little table is getting full. 12, 12, 3, 3, 6. Okay, moving on to calmer waters. Stay focused on your best possible future and remain optimistic throughout the entire journey. Your angels are right behind you as you turn your dreams into reality. I am focused. Whatever you're working on, stay focused on that. Don't be jumping off boat into some type of, I don't know what the heck this is. I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, 14. You are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things, uh, okay? This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. Be practical about this situation. Don't let anyone ha have you out here uh, uh, ending yourself. Do not cut your nose off to spite your face because you're out here trying to chase money. Chase passion. Chase happiness, joy, fulfillment in life, okay? It says, from new habits, embrace practices that nourish and uplift you. Prioritize wellness, which is what I'm saying too. When I say you're in a position right now, you don't have any problems that you're really dealing with. Some of you have jobs. Maybe they seem like they're not going anywhere. You don't know that. Commit yourself to it. Put in your, 10, your 110%, okay? While you're doing that, nurture yourself, love on yourself, learn how to heal, learn how to see yourself work, learn how to validate yourself. This is a time for you to be healing, okay, for you to be healing. But you're out here trying to chase money. Allow change. View change as a way to grow, not as a threat. Unlock new possibilities, Okay. And with that said, I will see you in my next read. Thank you for watching and goodbye for now.